Hey Stephen, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we'll be talking about will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that's anything you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what your pictures are saved as. And Google likes to see 1,500 words on the homepage of a website. But within those 1,500 words, that gives you all the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services. So my only suggestion with your website would just be to add some more content onto your homepage. Not only do we want to appease Google by having those 1,500 words so they will rank the site, um, but also those keywords that I mentioned are a huge component and they help out a tremendous amount when you're trying to get ranked. Next up is citations, and citations have a lot to do with this section. This is called the map pack, and a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I really mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those details. So you would want to check out where your competition is being listed, and you want to grab those listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you want to grab those 10, and then you want to add another 20, 30, 40. That's going to have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here. So moving along to backlinks, and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section, and the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site, and it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work with someone who owns an ice cream shop, and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream, so it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other CBD companies that send something back to your site, and that will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's gonna be a lot more powerful and more unique in Google's eyes. And this is one of the tools that I use just so I can give you a visual representation. So currently it's showing that your site has four referring domains, which are giving it five backlinks, getting it found for 69 keywords, and all of that is driving about five people to the site per month. And now here's one of the top competitors. So they have 1.53 thousand referring domains, giving them 20,000 backlinks, getting them found for 24.3 thousand keywords, and all of that is driving about 14.3 thousand people to this website, and that's just per month. So let me take a look and we'll see if we can look at their keywords and maybe get some ideas here. So here's a good one, a CBD store near me. So this would be a good one because it's listing the service or industry, and then that near me is going to automatically revert to wherever the person searching is. Um, and obviously CBD shop near me. So you can use variations of the same word or phrase, and it is still going to count as a whole new keyword. So in this one they use store, and this one they use shop, but they're still ranking for both of those. Um, let's see what else they have here. So when you're selling products on your website, you don't necessarily have to target your area. Uh, you can target the entire United States if you'd like to, because someone is simply having to go to your site, purchase something, and it's shipped directly to them. Um, when you have a brick and mortar store that you want people to come to, you would definitely want to target uh, your actual area. That way, when they come across you in the search results, they will be able to come visit you because you are close enough to them. Um, but here would be something good for like an actual brick and mortar store. Uh, CBD Baton Rouge. So it's listing that specific location where one of their stores probably is and then what somebody would be looking for, which in this case would be CBD. So I'm certainly not going to bore you and have us go through all of these thousands of keywords, but I do hope it at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things that you would want to integrate into your content. 
And truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But as I also mentioned earlier, also making sure that you're always adding on to that. That way you're far surpassing your competitors because that is the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google. But that is all that I have for you today, Stephen. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like more information about Dup Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, uh, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. Um, but I think what you guys are doing is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for your service. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week.